Hey guys, episode 5, Safe to Work, Describing the Hazard. This comes into play whenever you're documenting the hazards for your PHA. You want to make sure that your documentation is adequate for someone a couple weeks from now and also someone at the next revalidation in 5 years or 10 years. Big thing you want to do is break it up into two parts. One, the narrative. Two, the consequence. Number one in the narrative, what are the effects from the deviation? So if you're turning a valve, is pressure or temperature going to go up in a certain vessel? Are you going to react to something? Are you looking at some instrumentation that you're going to see something on? Um, everything in the scenario from an operational standpoint leading to that point where you have a consequence to your facility, you want to document those. Be very specific with instrumentation numbers, equipment numbers, anything that you have there so everyone knows what you're talking about. Two is a consequence, and it's pretty simple. What's going to happen to your personnel? Are you going to have a loss of containment? And if you do have a loss of containment, is it going to be a fire, toxic, radiation hazard, explosion, shrapnel, whatever is going to impact your personnel? And are they going to get hurt by this, and to what degree? Those are the two things you want to think about when you're documenting your hazard. Short and sweet, if you document both of those, no one should have any trouble in the future figuring out what your team said, and therefore we have a more consistent review as we go along throughout the years. If you enjoy the content, subscribe to us on YouTube. Check us out at LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, or on our website at bearps.com.